Hi everybody, my name is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. I'm one of the booking agents here in the office. We book psychic readings by phone. All of our readers are clairvoyant. Some of them use some tarot cards, some of them are psychic mediums. It just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I actually kind of wanted to talk a little, little bit more seriously tonight um, and just say a few things about angels and guardian angels. Um, it's been a really, really rough few weeks, um, obviously, to say the least. Um, and we have been heartbroken here in Orlando seeing what happened in Vegas. Um, and we send our hearts to everyone there that is suffering, all the victims and their families and loved ones. We just really cannot imagine um, going through that again. Um, it was definitely very difficult for everybody here in Orlando. And our heart does go out to everybody across the country that is dealing with that tragedy. Um, there, you know, is generally speaking, we don't really touch too much on religious issues or religious things here. Um, because we, we try to be ecumenical, which is basically being very inclusive of everybody of every different faith. Um, we do business with people, our readers are from a bunch of different faiths, and so is everybody here in the office, and so are our clients. Um, and we're very lucky to, you know, to deal with so many different people and religions and faiths, and, uh, and whether or not somebody has faith, that's totally fine. We're totally good with that, everything. Um, however, something that we wanted to touch on um, was the simple fact that we believe that do, angels do um, live amongst us um, and they are part of our lives. And usually it's generally a more religious or spiritual issue, but I just wanted to touch on this because it is a very, I think it's a very important, it's a very comforting thing to offer. Um, there are many religious and spiritual people who believe in guardian angels and that angels exist. Um, it's believed that every soul is actually given a guardian angel before answer before your soul enters into your human form. Um, a guardian angel and an angel is usually, you know, sent to provide some healing energy, guide us when times are rough, um, look out for us spiritually, and then guide us just in life in general. Um, angels can be present. Regular angels, not guardian angels. Your guardian angel is usually always with you. However, your angels, there can be many different angels that come in and out of your life for a short amount of time, a long period of time, depending on a certain situation that you're going through. Um, listening, learning to listen to your angels is very important. Um, it is thought that guardian angels do um, leave symbols as a means of communication. Um, they can also appear in dreams, um, and usually you can usually feel them or see them, some people think. Um, hi everybody, so nice to see you joining us. We do appreciate you being here. Um, it's important to pay attention to little symbols um, that may be present. Um, there are very common angel symbols that are pretty well known, I think, with, with many people in the spiritual community. Um, cardinals, feathers, rainbows, you know, the um, a lot of the, just the regular more, you know, psychic symbols that we talk about a lot. Um, they can be also signs from an angel that an angel is near. Um, they also be more subtle signs of an angel that, that you are there for you personally. Um, angels and guardian angels are believed to be from God. They do not necessarily have to be if you do not believe in God. That's okay too. Um, they love us and keep us in times of trouble. They are always believed to um, be in direct contact with a, your spiritual being or God. Um, they have also usually are invisible but do require a certain amount of faith to uh, know and understand. Their work is usually unseen, but the people that they protect, their work can be visible and extremely comforting and useful. Um, many religious people from different faiths believe in that helping in helping others um, through difficult times that you can actually feel the presence of angels. Um, and sometimes when you're out there helping others, you can actually um, feel God and angels more spiritually through yourself in helping other people. Um, when, when you're helping other people, you're actually helping your own faith and your own spirituality. So that's definitely an important thing to do. Hello, everybody. Um, we do believe angels are always around us. They are part of another dimension of energy, so you do not necessarily see them. Um, but they can actually provide, um, you know, some protection, some love during um, certain times of tragedies and different things. Car accidents, people talk about seeing guardian angels, or they see an angel nearby, or they see a spirit, um, or they feel like there's angel wings around them when they get in car accidents. That's a, that's a really prime time that I think of it. Um, they can't always protect you. Um, however, it is comforting to think that there could possibly be a being protecting you. Um, anyway, it's just really hard week. <laughs> um, Good Samaritans can also be um, angels in human form, um, whether they're guided by light or, or some sort of higher being that is very helpful to a lot of people. I think that we saw a lot of it this week with the different stories coming out from Vegas. 
Um, they will also be with you for a short time to provide help. Um, they can also, if they give you any advice during that time, we do encourage you to take that advice. Um, obviously, use your uh, use your intuition on whether or not it's going to be good advice or not. But definitely heed that you know whatever that that person tells you. Um, for instance, if a, somebody who, who, you know, just passes by and is helping you, they're like, oh my gosh, your shoe's untied, and hey, you know, watch out for the stop sign or something, I don't know, it could be anything. Pay attention to that warning and definitely look out for your shoelace. Um, that could just be a guardian angel maybe conveying a, a message to you. Um, angels are actually one of the purest forms of love and protection, um, and they, and it's just a really powerful um, protection for you. Um, I think that that's basically about it. We're going to be moving on into you know, some more fun stuff, I think, with our Facebook Lives This, this now that um, we're kind of through this week. We just didn't really want to do too much advertising or anything like that this week because we just feel like we just have to give everybody just a moment to pause and to reflect and to be thankful for what we do have. Um, and then next week we'll be doing a little bit more fun stuff. So anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful um, night. Um, oh, somebody's asking about a hurricane warning. Or, um, you know, I would say, Felicia, is if you prepare for your hurricane, I hope that you'll be okay. I'm not one of the readers. Um, we actually just went through hurricanes here in Orlando. So it's been kind of a long month. We do pray that you are nice and high. <laughs> so high and dry, that's what I would say. Um, otherwise, you know, if you have any hurricane warnings in your area, definitely heed them, listen to the weather people, stay on top of the weather, and I think that you should be okay. Um, your dad is probably with you. That's what I, I always think that our spirits are with us, especially in a scary time. So anyway, we hope that you have a wonderful evening. Um, if you would like a reading, call us. We'd love to help at 1-800-966-2294. We have excellent readers on tonight. Um, and we hope to hear from you soon. Take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.